So this afternoon, I attended my first uh, Socialist Party meeting, and uh, like how this season's been so far, I've gotten really reflective, and uh, I've been really thinking about the people I've met up here. <sighs> Out of breath, because I, I've been trying to make this video like several times. This is why I'm at a weird angle, uh, but I'm very grateful. I appreciate the human beings that I've been surrounding myself with because these are people that are not only works of art, but support me in the way as of lifting me up and inspiring me and motivating me to experience more, to expand my knowledge and to love. Every human being is a work of art and any discussion that you have is thought provoking because, you know, thought is universal. And even though that the season that we're pushing through right now is cold, <sighs> Yeah, really fucking cold. There's still so much to gain from it, even when it does feel so desolate and depressing. Like, the city's mood is constantly snow and constantly overcast. And of course, there, was, there are those sunny days, but when it's really sunny, it reflects off the snow and it's so fucking bright. <laughs> but... Yeah, I even like I I've been going through a lot of existentialism and it just really fits the mood the atmosphere and it's weird. It's something that I haven't experienced before as an adult. It's hard, um, but so is life in general. You know, you're pushing through friction, but it's the way that you work with it. You work through the friction. And it's something that I've realized when I first arrived here is there's myself and then there's myself and the life that I want to live. And I've been pushing through so hard to being where I want to be. And I'm not even sure where I want to be. I'm not even sure what I want to do, but I do know that I want to love. I do know that I want to experience. And I do know that I want to care for and love and support. I know that I want to care for not one person exclusively, but I want to love and care and support every human being uh, in the way of humanity. So not literally every human being. I'm not going to love and support somebody like Putin or Trump, but when it, when it comes to people, human beings who experience humanity, I want to do everything that I can to love those people. And of course, in a way, I do love Trump. And I do love Putin, for they are other human beings, but uh, I do believe in justice. But anyway, yeah, if, if Donald Trump is arrested on Christmas, I will accept Christ. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've just, I've just been going through a lot, even, even though uh, the majority of the time now, since winter has come, I've been feeling super, super depressed. Uh, I've been waking up every morning and I've been doing what I have to do. Uh, and even, even in the hecticness of the weekday, um, or of every day almost, there's always that moment, that pause where I just like, for example, see the landscape of Bangor, see the overcast and see all the snow and just 
even though I'm not necessarily feeling that connection, I'm still witnessing God itself and I'm still witnessing the beauty of what it is to be alive and experience, to be alive and breathing and to experience. <laughs> I'm witnessing the human condition, I'm experiencing the human condition, I'm very grateful for that. And even though it is hard, and even though that I am working through the friction, that that's just the beauty of life. And I don't want my life to be filled with distractions. I don't want to, you know, just escape reality. I want to face it. And I'm I've I've never re really been so uh, determined. I am a welder now, and even though I was offered a job, I took it down. And it things would have been a lot easier if I did take this job. But if I did, I w I w would have been making machines that kill people and I'm fucking serious when I say that and of course it's like well you know it, it depends on perspective but I just want nothing to do with feeding that and even though that that might seem like a very stupid decision of mine I'm proud of myself and I'm proud to be here I've I've been doing a lot of good stuff and I've I've yeah, I've I'm not used to saying this, but I'm pretty fucking proud of myself. I was in a very difficult situation. I was uh in a weird transition phase of being a kid and being an adult and I just was lost. I was lost psychologically. It wasn't good for me and i'm i'm really making it i'm i'm really uh i'm really getting where i where i want to be and i i i'm i am where i want to be right now but there's more out there <laughs>